Trisha here with the Bohemian Butterfly and I have been asked by a couple of people to do a tutorial on how I turned this plastic, clear plastic ornament from the Dollar Tree into this beautiful ornate Christmas tree ornament. I am gonna do it just a little bit different, but uh, the concept or the uh, method is gonna be the same. I'm gonna do a different mold. So what I used is a clear plastic ornament from the Dollar Tree. And what I just found out is you can buy these in cases of 24, which is um, amazing. And you can pre-order on their website and have pick it up at the store or have it shipped right to your home. I just found that out by another crafter on one of my creative pages. So well, let's get started. So how, what I did with this one, just if you're wondering what these colors are, I used vintage linen um, on, uh, was my first coat. I did two coats of vintage linen and then I used uh, one coat of clear wax, the DIY clear wax, and then I went um, over the clear wax with the shipwrecked patina wax, finishing wax, and then wiped away any of the excess to give it this beautiful finish. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I chose uh, the fresh, um, sorry, uh, farm fresh for this color, and then we're gonna use a white wax over the top of it. So no prepping is needed you're going to do is, and again, I'm using the DIY clay base paint, Debbie's Design Diary. Uh, you can check that out at debbiesdesigndiary.com. And check to see where there is a stockist near you. I'm just using a regular old um, crafter's brush. This is a synthetic brush, nice soft bristles. And I am going to do one coat of the, making sure you guys can see me. I will have to do two coats. So once this dries, we'll do a second coat. But look at how beautifully that clay, that clay paint is right on this clear plastic. And that's how we're gonna start this project. I did have a little bit of difficulty, if anybody has any ideas on how to hold this, uh, it was um, it was quite the challenge when I was doing the other one. I'm certain I will get better. I would imagine I could craft something to hold this little glass ball, or glass, it's not glass, plastic ball, on while I'm painting it. Anybody have any ideas? Please, please, please. So you can see that you can see brush strokes. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. There are a few little brush strokes. Yeah, there you go. And that's okay. Your second coat is going to take care of all that. Okay, so the first coat is dry. I did use a blow dryer to expedite the drying process. Uh, that you can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second coat. And on your second coat, this is when you're going to get you know, nice coverage. It's gonna cover all those brush strokes and you're gonna get a nice, beautiful finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do that. Once that is dry, I'm going to show you how to um, create the paper clay molds uh, with the IOD um, decor molds and uh, paper clay. And we'll adhere it to here and you'll see how this is going to start to transform. All right, so we have our clear plastic ornament with two coats of farm fresh on here and you can see how beautiful I just love this clay paint just so so beautiful how it just covers any any surface but we're going to put our molds on now 
So what I am, I've chosen is the trimmings mold from IOD, which is the Iron Orchid Sisters, or Iron Orchid Design. You can find um, a stock is near you. Go to ironorchiddesigns.com. They come in packages like this. I have a couple of them few different molds. This is the mold that I used for the original ornament that I had posted as well as the one that I showed you in the beginning of this video. But I am going to use the trimmings and these are all different trims. And I'm, what did I decide on? I decided on this one right here. Okay. I am using Creative Paper Clay, I got this at Hobby Lobby. It is $9.99 and I did use the 40% off coupon for this. They said it hardly ever goes on sale. Paper Clay is just that, it is clay made out of paper. Just like Play-Doh. And everybody likes to play with Play-Doh. I am going to just kind of roll it in just a little, uh, I don't know what you would call that tube like. I'm going to bring this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. Hopefully the tripod doesn't fall over. Okay, so I'm going to press it down into the mold. I have bought some other molds on Amazon. Uh, they're really, they, they tend to be really small and uh, not as, um, not as many, um, um, designs to choose from. When you buy them on Amazon, what you're buying are um, candy or cake molds, which they work. Uh, I, I've used them. Now I'm taking my putty knife and I'm going to wipe, I kind of push down and wipe away the excess all at the same time. So I'm pushing down and wiping away the excess. I'm gonna roll this out because I still have a little bit of, of section there. And I'm going to Alright, and now we're going to reveal it. This is fun. This is the fun part. Okay, so I'm gonna get it close up so you can see. I'm gonna it's kinda like you're taking ice out of a, you know, an ice. when working with the mold is you want to work with it while it's, while it's wet. Otherwise, when this dries, it gets super, super hard. You would never be able to get it to go around um, the sphere that we're going to do. Now we are going to use, I'm going to lay it on its side like that. We are going to use, I need to get my own glue. Actually, that Elmer's glue is a generic brand. You can use wood glue, you can use Elmer's glue. I would not recommend hot glue. And we're going to apply the glue right to the back of that mold. These are just so much fun and so simple. And you can get as creative as you would like. Okay. So we're gonna take, now I, I'm just gonna show you, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of where they where they put these together, there's a little bit of a seam. Um, I don't know if you can see that on camera, not really. Uh, but there is a seam there. So I'm gonna use that as a guide to get this straight. holding this, not getting glue on it. Okay, and I'm going to wipe my hand. 
friends. Okay. So, keeping it was one thing, but holding it and applying the mold, getting it to stay on there is another. Okay, but now you see I'm missing a piece right here. I'm simply going to go ahead and just make a small piece in my mold. I'm set that down for just a minute and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Uh, make sure that when you seal this, you put it in a Ziploc bag, otherwise you will have um, hard paper clay that you will be able to do nothing with. It has to stay moist. Okay, so I need a small section. I'm just going to go ahead and make a, a smaller section. I did not measure. I'm just eyeing it. If it's too big, then I can simply just cut it off. All right, once again, we're just going to pull that out of there, just like that. Just like that. This, I don't know why, but this left a little bit of a... Just take our putty knife. Okay, now we've got that there, and I will... I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to put it here, bring it up to the top, take my putty knife, and just cut away. Sorry, I'm trying to hold two things. Once. Okay, we'll just simply piece it together right there. Alright, so I thought I was filming and I wasn't, so there's a portion of this that did not get filmed and it was the part where I was showing you that I added some ornate pieces in between each one of the trimmings. These come from a separate mold, not the trimmings mold, and I went ahead and did that on camera and it wasn't filming well. I was doing that so I just wanted to show you that was the next step I glued them on with the glue just like I did the trimmings and we are gonna let this dry and then we're gonna go ahead and paint these uh, so you can paint this while it's wet you do take a chance of losing losing the integrity of the design so it's up to you and if you want it to be a little bit more muted you could just go ahead and paint right away and not worry about that or let this dry overnight and then go ahead and paint it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and paint the clay molds. And I'm gonna go over it with the same color. It'd be really difficult to paint these um, a different color without getting it all over the, um, the Farm Fresh. So I'm gonna open up our Farm Fresh. I'm gonna use that same brush. smaller brush nearby just to get down into the little crevices if I needed to. painted and dry then we'll go over it with the wax and I'll show you all um, the beautiful um, intricate details that are going to pop out and how it's just absolutely gorgeous this is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Take the clear wax, the DIY clear wax, 
We're gonna go over it with clear wax first. And I'm using a really small brush to get down into these crevices, down into the corners here. When you apply a clear wax first before you use a colored wax, it's kind of like a little bit of an insurance policy. It just allows that colored wax to be just a little bit more forgiving and erase. super, super bold with your colored wax, especially dark wax, but we are going to be using a white wax on this. So I'm going to go over it with the clear wax, the entire ornament with clear wax first. And I'll come back and I will show you how to go over it with the white wax. changed, it got darker, but as the wax dries, it goes back to the original color. Okay. So. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take our white wax. And we have a white wax, and I'm going to go ahead and use that same brush and go over those intricate areas with the with the small brush. Okay, so bring this up closer. Go over areas with white wax down into these little crevices. We're going to continue to do that until we have the entire piece covered and then we'll take rub away or pull away any excess might be and show you that. And these little pieces here and cover this whole thing up. I'll show you take some of this and pull back. Continue doing this, and then I will uh, bring you back on in uh, just a little bit when I'm And voila! Look at how beautiful. like and subscribe to my page also in the comments if you have any questions I would love to answer them and if you make these please post a picture in the comment section I would love to see your creation and I hope that I inspired you Merry soon to be Christmas